Firefly is Zombie Skeleton, the economic budget to a affairs board, and the Tentacity People's Council organized the meeting to review cast in the third quarter and outright cast for the fourth quarter of 2022. The seventh Mekonento Regional Open Pediatrics Conference in Kansas City. The festival named the Youth of Kansas with innovative and creative ideas and the English Eloquence Contest at the city level in 2022-2023 this year. Hello and welcome, welcome to another edition of Continuous and Top News today. On October 21st afternoon, the Economic Budgetary Affairs Board under the City People's Council organized a meeting to review tasks in the third quarter and outline tasks for the fourth quarter of 2022. In the third quarter, as assigned by the Standing Board of the City People's Council, the Economic Budgetary Affairs Board is tasked to verify five draft resolutions that are going to be submitted at the seventh session of the 10th City People's Council 2021 to 2026 term. Organize two supervision phases at 11 units on the allocation, usage, and management of the educational cost capital in 2019 to 2022 phase to enact the supervision plan for the third quarter on the implementation of Resolution No. 13, dated December the 8th, 2021, of the City's People's Council that stipulates support policy for removing farming establishments out of unallowed locations in the city and carry out its regular functions and tasks. The 7th Megonento Regional Open Pediatrics Conference took place on October 22nd morning in Kansas City. Attending the conference were Professor Dr. Phan Nick Eng, Vice Chairman of Vietnam Pediatrics Association, leaders of Kansas City's Health Department, leaders of hospitals, schools, top experts on pediatrics in certain regional branches and cities. The conference was totally held by Kansas City Students Hospital with the attendance of around 450 delegates at the plenary session. Then attendees were divided into four groups to discuss specialized contents in four different halls. These are scientific researches and reports on crucial and basic issues in pediatrics at regional and national scales. Also on October 22nd morning, the Education and Training Department, Youth Union of Kansas City, totally organized the festival named the Youth of Kansas with innovative and creative ideas and the English Eloquence Contest at the city level in 2022-2023 school year. The contest named English Eloquence is held online and offline for junior and senior secondary school students, with 64 video clips being sent to the organizing board. The offline round takes place on October 2nd and 23rd, with the participation of 32 teams and more than 200 contestants. Within the framework of the contest, scientific and technical products are also on display. On October 22nd, Kansas City's Education and Training Department organized a symposium on STEM education at primary level in 2022-2023 school year. The symposium was held online and transmitted at primary schools in nine urban and suburban districts of Kansas City. Attendees together watch an illustration class on the topic named STEM Lesson Friendly Trash Bean, conducted by teacher Ha Hu Shi of Ngo Quyen Primary School in Ninh Kiều Upper District. The class revolves the warm-up formation of knowledge, practice, and application, while students discuss practice, develop their ideas, from then aiming to help cadres, teachers, share experiences in applying STEM education. In 2022-2023 school year, there are 10 schools in Nguyen Kiều Bình Thủy Âu Môn thuốc nốt phong điền that are to test the model of STEM education. On October 22nd morning, Kentucky University of Technology organized a ceremony to present graduation diplomas in the face in October 2022. 843 graduates of 12 disciplines were presented with diplomas. This is a great effort exerted by the staff and students of the university in the context of the pandemic. In 2022-2023 school year, the university received 1,560 students, bringing the total number of students to over 5,000. On this occasion, the university commanded excellent graduates.
In response to the fire campaign safety month, the firefight in police served in the skill chamber under Kansas City's public security have just organized the fire control and served in the skill exercise at San City Trade Center. The fire was simulated to be caused by the gasoline leakage incident of a motorbike parked underground. At the time of the incident, around 200 shopping goers turned panic and were suffocated by poisonous gas. Right after detecting the fire, employees shouted loudly, then cut the power, extinguished the fire, and then announced to the relevant forces. Shortly after receiving the news, firefighting and search and rescue forces, public security of Teng Ang Ward, and Ninkyu Urban District were present at the site to extinguish the fire, save victims and remove assets to a safe place. As evaluated, the practice was fulfilled as planned without any incidents. Kansas City's Natural Resources and Environment Department, the People's Committees of Angban and Campbell's, members of associations, collaborations, youth unions of universities and colleges, on October 22nd morning, collected trash and clean water flows in the Ninkyu area. More than 100 employees and members from various units took part in cleaning areas surrounding Angban Road, Kerang and Kashan Bridges, and collected trash on the Jim Canal in area number 3 in Angban Road. Kind hundred people also presented 20 trash bins to test the model of the community's engagement in environmental protection. This activity aims to respond to the campaign of making the world cleaner in 2022. The cultural and culinary festival of 1,000 dishes of the past and present is taking place at the Ecotourism Village from the district with a lot of past and present dishes and regional specialities throughout the country. Traditional dishes but modified to become memorable, fancy and attractive are promising attraction from this event. Someday, Ecotourism Village has called and attracted about 120 stalls, including artisans of the Mekong Delta, participating in this program. Visitors will soon learn about the dishes of the past and present. The dishes are made from vegetables, fruits, and from traditional rice and sticky rice, helping students and pupils in the city understand the foods that can be processed with various dishes suitable for the source of raw materials. From vegetables and fruits, people can process rice paper, vermicelli, noodles, and so on. In the current context, the cultural and culinary festival of 1,000 delicious dishes of the past and present also aims to respond to the policy of gradually recovering and developing tourism in the new situation of Kansas City after the COVID-19 pandemic. Newspaper and social networks also support and help promote Omde Ecotourism Village. I know a lot of websites come to register and ask about this festival. I hope the festival will attract from 30 to 50,000 visitors to Omde Ecotourism Village. I think a lot of people come to visit when Mekan is organizing a 4K festival like this. There are many kinds of kids in this area. Until now, I never thought there were a thousand dishes. So this time, there are also many in shot. I really like them. It is a convenient opportunity we will come again to attend. Within the framework of the festival, there are cooking contests, stone decorations of the past and present, and many other interesting activities. On this occasion, the organizers also wish to contribute to helping artisans have more motivation in preserving traditional crafts.
the date it with a forecast. Thanks for that. That this series shall not continue. If you want to watch again in this bulletin, please visit our website, kentertv.vn. And now thanks for being with us. Goodbye and see you next time.